from you know previous game centered approach. I'm not going to go through details. We have articles, we have books being published. So I'm going to just kind of skip that component. That way, um, you can, if you are interested, you can probably um, read the book or articles. And I, you know, my email also, if you are, want to reach out to me, um, perfectly send email to me. I will be glad to share any information that you want. All right. So. The research evidence is pretty amazing. Uh, we have at least uh, three or four articles come out. Uh, if you look at, uh, look at student motivation interest and student had high interest um, when using that approach to teach uh, college volleyball lessons as compared to the tra traditional uh, techniques focus approach. And also when we look at soccer, better tactical knowledge, you probably can understand why students had better tactical knowledge because they think, they try to analyze, right? And also when we look at soccer skill development, uh, it's pretty much similar to what traditional techniques focus approach in terms of technical development. Well, there are some certain reasons why soccer techniques, right? You need time to develop, right? So, uh, but when we look at badminton study, uh, it's amazing, right? No matter what, whether it's the techniques or tactics, game performance, students in our approach pretty much perform better in every aspect of techniques and also tactics as compared to traditional approach, right? So, um, so from the research, we can see this approach is probably more effective in terms of improving students' game performance, tactical decision-making, um, and also as well as techniques de development in certain sports. All right. So I'm going to just stop here just in case you have any questions. I recognize this time is, you know, we're running late. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ülkemizde de kullanılmaya başlanan e, oyun merkezi öğretim yaklaşımı hakikaten beden eğitimi için hem de e, sporda, antrenman ortamında kullanım için önemli. E, en kritik nokta zihinle bedeni bir araya getirmesi. E, bu da çocukların bütüncül gelişimini destekliyor. O yüzden e, bu yaklaşımın gelecekte daha fazla kullanmasını bekleyebiliriz. E, Wei Dongyi de e, bu oyun merkezi öğretim yaklaşımlarına böyle bir genel giriş yaptıktan sonra e, bunların özünü bize anlattı. E, özellikle Ley ve Wenger'ın bakış açısıyla e, durumsal bağlamda önce bağlamın sonra da ilişkilerin ortaya konması gerektiğini, böyle bir ortamda olduğunu vurguladı. E, sonra da beş tane boyut üzerinde bizi düşündürdü. E, durumsal öğretim modelini kullanırken ilişkisel bir bağlamda olduğumuzu, durumsal bir durum olduğunu, otantik, uygulamalı ve anlamlı bir etkinlik olduğunu, bilişsel ve problem çözme odağının olduğunu ve gelişim düzeyini, öğrencilerin gelişim düzeyini duyarlı olduğunu söyledi bizlere, ifade etti. Bunların pedagojik süreçlerini, basamaklarını anlattı ve set oyunu örnekleri gösterdi. Yani epeyce düşünmemizi sağlayacak araç verdi. At this point, uh, uh, if the audience have questions, uh, you may have uh, time for questions. Uh, birkaç soru alabiliriz uh, yemeğe gitmeden önce. Buyur. The question, the core of the question is the, 
how we measure the uh, learning of the uh, students at uh, situated uh, teaching model for learning. Thank you. That's a very good question. It took me a year to figure it out. <laughs> All right. See, that, that's difficult to develop something new, right? That's a very good question. Um, let's use the example uh, tennis, because one of my PhD uh, did a dissertation um, using tennis. Let me go back to the uh, picture right here. This is probably better. So how do we measure? We use the momentary. A momentary. Um, what that means is we're going to watch a tennis game from the beginning to the finish. So as we watch the game, we try to divide it, the entire game into different situated set plays. And based on that, well, good luck with that one. Uh, yeah, we, we, that's only conceptual thinking right now. But as you know, you know, you play tennis, the, way, the first action, sometimes the way you do it is because you want to make the second movement. Make sense to you all? So I return the ball probably to A. The reason I return to A, so I want to keep play X over here, then my next shot going to hit to D or C. So how can we divide those games into different set plays? It's very difficult, right? But it's only conceptual thinking right now. So we look at the game, we divide into different a series of set plays. Then we look at, that will be, as long as we can do that, it will be easier. So we'll be look at, well, in that specific moment, did you make a proper decision? When you make a proper decision, that decision be executed successfully or not? Did you use a proper technique to deliver the action? If yes, did you do it correctly? So as soon as we divide it into different set plays, we look at technique, we look at decision making, and try to make a judgment in terms of whether appropriate decision making or whether it's successful skill execution. <laughs> Thank you for your great presentation. I would like to ask Kate Tokish. Son videoda antrenör pozların egzersiz yaparken sıkça geri bildirim veriyor. Bu geri bildirim o anda doğru mu? Yoksa daha sonra mı? Great. The question is about Fatih's performance in feedback in the video. Do you think that the timing of the Fatih was good in respect to feedback in the video? I mean, the teacher at the video, Turkish video. I mean, the teacher constantly keeps giving feedbacks during the set play. Yeah. Um, during the student practice is pretty much, you know, we require, well, at Ohio State, require a minute, you have to give at least three feedback, right? Um, it's the same as typical teaching, you give feedback, but the feedback, um, what is the focus of feedback? As you know, when we present the situation set play, student can get, can understand the tactical decision making very easily. The problem is, they cannot do it very well, which means they cannot dribble well, they cannot pass well. So during student practice as a teacher, your main feedback should focus on what? Techniques. Make sure they correct their errors, improve their techniques. We made an assumption, when you use this approach, right? this is a technique, my left hand represents techniques. My right hand represents tactics decision making. Do you want to translate right now? 
<gülüyor> Fatih. Ben Aslında başlangıçta o ay istekte her dakikada üç tane geri bildirim verilmesi gerektiğini söylüyor. Şimdi taktiksel kararlar ve teknik uygulamayla ilgili bir örnek verecek. Ee, sol el, your left is technical execution. Sol el teknik, sağ el de taktikle ilgili şu an. Yeah. So, when you use that approach, you should expect your students have low techniques and will be able to understand the tact tactical decision what? Very easily, which means they have high levels of tactic, tactics understanding. So as students move up, you see my, my, my tactical decision is still here. So that techniques getting better, right? So when they match, which means they have good decision making and they have good skill execution, I can guarantee your students can beat anybody else. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Raven. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> just, just, just before uh, leaving for lunch, uh, I want to invite the presenters to the podium to give a certificate and a small gift. On behalf of the organizing committee. It didn't work, right? No, it didn't work, but it's okay. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Alexandra, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. For you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Organization komitesini buraya alabilir miyiz? Sen Yakan Hocam, hocaların. Recep, seni de alalım da bir de şey yapıyor. Okay. Let me get my computer back. Yes, and I will. Oh. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, good to see you. Thank you. My name is Ramis. I am the dean of the dean. Yeah, yes. I talked to your son, Matt. Okay, of course. With pleasure. Five years ago, I have been in Oklahoma State University. Oh, Oklahoma State.